Hi, good morning. Word of God says, All who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 12 Lord Jesus Christ talks about signs of the end of the age in Luke 21. Then he says from verse 12, But before all these things, they will lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and prisons. You will be brought before the kings and rulers for my name's sake, but it will turn out for you as an occasion for testimony. Therefore settle it in your hearts not to meditate beforehand on what you will answer, for I will give you a month and wisdom which all your adversaries will not be able to contradict or resist. You will be betrayed even by parents and brothers, relatives and friends, and they will put some of you to death, and you will be hated by all for my name's sake, but not a hair of your head shall be lost. By your patience, possess your souls. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen to that. This is what actually happened to me. I got falsely accused and persecuted at the hands of the wicked and the Baal. And I was brought before the rulers because I went in the name of the Lord to deliver a Bible. Now authorities of this world seeking stalking order against me because I went in the name of the Lord to deliver a Bible. And this is in England, supposedly a Christian country. If these things are happening to us at our doorstep, what else happening elsewhere in the world? Who would have thought the authorities themselves, who are supposed to administer justice, will be the one persecuting the Christians for speaking in the name of the Lord? Last night I woke up with an urgency to pray to the Lord to forgive my betrayer. I have asked Lord to forgive him for me. It is very important that we forgive all whomever oppress us or trying to bring charges against us. For the Lord our God is the judge of all, who will judge all. Psalm 91 says it beautifully, safety of abiding in the presence of God. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the prelist pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night nor of the arrow that flies by day nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore I will deliver him, I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him, and show him my salvation. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. I pray that for each and every one of you to stand strong under severe persecutions. I pray that the Lord our God grant you his grace in abundance for you to stand firm in the face of oppositions. 
I pray that your latter days will be more fulfilling and rewarding. I pray that the Lord our God will surround you with his holy angels and will keep you safe in the palm of his hand forevermore. I pray that the Lord our God goes before you, he is after you and all around you. I pray that he will keep you safe in him forever. In Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. May God bless you all in Christ Jesus. Amen.